Hey Roosters, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke, um, Tim Pole's Adventures. Um, so, we're going to be starting this and I will soon explain the rules. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a Nuzlocke for the first time ever on this channel. Um, I hope it's pretty fun. We're using the Pro Controller, by the way. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So, um, we're gonna start this off. Our name is Ball. Again. Yes, sir. And then let's get started. Let's head into this um, game. So we're gonna get started. Okay, so um, while this cutscene is playing, um, I'll go ahead and explain the rules. <laughs> um, so basically, um, a nuzlocke is where um, you, the rules include, you just play it regularly, but, um, firstly, this, this specific Nuzlocke, um, how we're gonna do it is that we're going to replace the starter with our journey Pokemon, or our adventure Pokemon, and in this case, um, uh, for this series, it's gonna be a Timpole, um, so basically, our starter is Timpole, and then um, each each time we enter a new area, like a new route where we can catch a Pokemon, um, we can catch only the first encounter that we get. Um, so how we're gonna do this is that we're not gonna count overworld encounters, so we won't be able to catch um, the encounters that we can see in the overworld but only the ones that are hidden in the grass. Um, and also, um, another rule that marks what a Nuzlocke is, is that um, every time a Pokemon faints in battle, you cannot use that Pokemon any other time and must be in the PC graveyard. So you must keep it in the PC for the whole um, series. Um, and I, th I believe the final rule is that you must nickname every Pokemon so that you have more of a attachment, more of an attachment to that Pokemon so that when it faints, it's more saddening for you. Um, also for our series, um, the wild area Pokemons are not allowed. Um, and only only the max raid Pokemon are allowed. So yeah, those were the rules. Let's get started. Oh, and also the last rule regarding Temple as our starter: the starter cannot um, die. So basically, if the starter faints, you can still reuse it. So it won't, nothing will happen if it faints, so you can, um, the star can stay with you the whole series. Hmm. Okay, so let's start this series. Okay, um, nice, should be here in any minute, okay, 
Okay, so we need to bring that bag with us. Nice, let's get started. So let's just explore our room here. Fireplace built. So this is our house. We have a munch lax here. Whoa, that's cute. Um, let's head to this room, maybe. No. Oh, let's talk to mom. Mom, I guess. So we need to grab a hat. Uh, oh yeah, let's grab our bag and put on our hat as well. <laughs> okay, nice. So, we know this, we can press X. Um, Okay, so let's head out of our house here. So Hop's waiting for us outside. <clears throat> Our bag's not that bad. Um, okay, so there's a Wulu ramming into the fence. It's using tackle on the fence. Slumbering wheel. Yep. Okay, let's race, I guess. I'm guessing we're racing to Hop's house. And look at that. There's a butterfly. There's free. There's Wulu everywhere. There's this man. That's true. So he has like a, a Pokemon battle gym. This is like, you know, like how people have basketball courts at their house. This is the Pokemon version of that. I mean, basketball hoops. So let's just head into Hot's house here. Quite a nice house, actually. But where's Lee? We can't miss out. Okay, so he's gonna wait on the route, on a route, however you say it. I'll say route for this series, I think. Oh, he has a purloin. Nice. Let's explore his house here. His granny. I think this is. Oh, nice. He has a mini gym. For Pokemon. That's his bed. <laughs> the sheets are really wrinkled. Okay, I guess let's head outside and he's probably waiting for us, so he should be here. Yeah, he's right here. Well Pokemon could come out of the grass out of nowhere. Yeah, so we will steer clear of the grass because we can't get um, Pokemon yet. Nor do we have any Pokemon. Oh, okay, so let's head here. This is Wedgehurst Station, I think. Or is this another station? Yeah, this is Wedgehurst Station. This is where you go to like your Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra and all of that. 
Whoa, Leon. The Charizard pose. Leon is the unbeatable champion. Nervous. Yeah, so as I said, I'm I'm pretty hyped to play this um, series because it's quite um, it's quite fun. Like having this restriction, it it kind of challenges challenges you more. So then. You're more engaged because, like, you. Pl I've played this story before, um, and to just repeat it regularly, it would just be boring. But I feel like if I do this challenge with the Nuzlocke and the um, Tim Pole's adventure, then it's kind of more fun because there's a competitive element and like a challenging aspect to it. So yeah. Okay, so let's head to Hop's house again. Leon's gonna be going now. Okay, so we're back at Hop's house. His house is quite larger than ours. Greatest gifts from the champion. Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. Nice. Okay, so um, this is the starter selection. This is gonna be Score Bunny, um, Sobble, and Grookey. Grookey, Sobble, Score Bunny. My personal favorite is Grookey, definitely, because he's the cutest, obviously. Um, Look, he's just innocently tapping on the fruits. Look, I like his branch stick. It's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna have to choose our starter here. Usually I would go definitely for Grookey because he, he's definitely the best starter, like, um, in terms of power and how cute he looks, but... We're gonna have to go for Sobble here, just because um, we're doing the Tad- uh, the Tim- I keep calling it Tadpole. The Timple Adventures Nuzlocke, obviously, and Timple is a water type, so then we want our um, type advantages to be just like if we chose a water starter. So we're gonna go for Sobble, but we're gonna keep him in the- um, we're gonna keep him in the PC, so yeah. We'll just nickname him in case we want to use him. Um, we'll say... Hmm. Let's call him... Eerie. Because he's sad, so we got Teary. That's gonna be our s starter, but not really because we're gonna be using Timple instead. So then this way it forces Hop to use Score Bunny, so then we still have that type advantage compared to if we chose um, Gookie instead. Grookey's lonely. It'll go with Leon, I guess. Nice. 
restaurant is dinner is ready. We have some um, delicious barbecue. Okay, so he's energized up and healed up. Now let's just let's see the next day. So we spent the whole night with our new partner. Yep. We definitely are worth um worthy rivals to Leon. Because in the future, if we actually do really well in this, we can actually beat Leon one day. So, um, yes, I believe we can't um, transfer Pokemon just yet, so we can't do the Timple yet. So we'll have to use Sobble for now until we get. Um, until we gain access to the, um, to the PCs, so yeah. Okay, so we'll just pound for now. Let's see how much damage it does. That's actually a good chunk there. Tackle does not do much against us. Let's pound again. Here is a beast. Look at that damage from the pound. Okay, I think we're gonna take down this Wulu here. Nice. Three shot, not bad. And then we're gonna level up to level seven. That's nice. We Ooh, learn. Huh? Uh huh. We learned Water Gun. Okay, so he's sending up Score Bunny. So, we're gonna Water Gun th him. This should do like more than half, I think. Oh yeah, more, way more than half. That did like 60%. That's really good. Of course, we know about type advantages. We've played this multiple times. And also, we do VGC, so that's really important. Okay, so now we've we've taken down this score bunny, which is really nice here. Okay, nice. So we beat Hop in our first ever battle, so Leon's gonna um, congratulate us on that. We're ready for the gym challenge, definitely, I think. If we just train our Pokemon a little more, we should be able to get to there. Um, uh, I'm gonna cut you time. Um, so for our first battle, it automatically heals us up. Um, but we need to uh, gain access to the boxes. Oh, crash. Yep, I definitely heard that. The gates opened. The Wooloo was there, so it broke the fence with tackle. Uh-oh. It went into the slumbering wield. Yeah, we need to save it, definitely. Because the Zation is gonna be in the slumbering wields and that's gonna be super scary because he's one of the strongest um pokemon in this game i believe like one of the best legendaries as well i think in terms of vgc So we need to move here. No. So, okay. So, so technically, it's gonna say, like, the first Pokemon we encounter per area. But this Squovet, we can't even catch it yet. Because we don't even have Pokeballs yet. So, 
this is not gonna count just yet because um, we haven't really we we haven't we can't even catch it yet so this won't count we can still catch another pokemon from um the slumbering wheel if we wanted to but at least that's some experience for the sobble teary the sobble okay so let's see what hops is here Nice, so we get a heal there from um, Hop. Let's. No! Another. This is a Rookity. Nice. Rookity is actually a really good Pokemon for the story mode because Corby Knight's really, really good for um, story mode as well. Let's just water gun it. Nice, we one shot it. That's actually really good. Okay, nice. Whoa, I hear that. Yep, I definitely hear that. I don't think that's the ruler. This is another scroll bit. Let's just knock it out. Um, so basically, if you guys don't know when it says effective, um, once you've encountered a Pokemon before, you'll then know it's um, typing, so then you can know which moves are effective or, or not on that Pokemon. Okay, so... Let's see... Whoa, I hear that howl again. Uh oh, the Wooloo's gonna be in trouble, no way. Wait, Zacian can... Um... Zacian's gonna hurt that Wooloo. If we don't rescue it in time. Yeah, true, it's really foggy here. Wait, what is this? Whoa, Zacian, no way. This is a, this is what we want. Whoa. Zacian. Okay, so we're gonna battle it, but but I don't think we can catch it yet because this is still the very start of the game, so there's no way we can catch it. Let's shoot it. What? Wait, the, the bullets disappear into Zacian. The move had no effect. Wait, let's let's try water gunning again. Bro, what? It has no effect and what it, what's it doing? It's like creating mist around us. Now it's harder to see things. I can still slightly see Zacian. Let's water gun, please work. No. It does zero damage. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, now we can't see anything. What? That's so weird. Wow. Huh? I need to my. I might tell them. Tell me to them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, wait. So I don't know what happened there. So Leon's here. I'm presuming. I'm not going to I'm assuming to save us, the Charizard's saving the Wulu. Charizard looks really cool, the graphics are insane on this. Yeah, our moves didn't do any damage to it. So weird. I feel like it's like an illusion or something. That's really cool. We saw Zacian for the first time. I 
เกมเพิ่งเริ่มอะโอเค so he's um did he say let's advance or something oh yeah we need to tell our mom first that we're gonna be going to going out on an adventure I actually kind of forgot the storyline because like I haven't played it in like a year already I think like I've been playing VDC so often now I don't really remember the storyline as clearly yeah Sabo's really a cool of a starter Pokemon as well so we got some pocket money get potions or something Nice, okay, so oh, we told our mom that we are ready to embark on an adventure. Now let's head to Hop and see um, See what he, he's gonna say Okay, so here we go. This is quite a big step, you know, my first step towards becoming a champion Train up Score Bunny a bit, having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. That's what we're gonna do Definitely. Okay, so we need to take this long way around. Let's try not to encounter any Pokemon just yet because we can't really heal it. Nice, we got two paralyzed heals. No! Uh oh. Oh, we should be able to take out a skull of it, I think, so. We're fine, I think. Let's just water gun. This should bring it down to like low health, yeah. Okay, that didn't do too much damage, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Um, so the rule with Thierry is that, um, I won't be able to use, um, wait, is it a him or her? Let me check real quick. We won't be able to use Thierry, um, like, for now, because... Um, he's still, because he's, he's gonna be our starter, but, so we can't go into the Pokemon, Pokemon Center yet, um, so we won't be able to use Teary until, um, we beat the first gym, because that's just gonna be the rules regarding stars, because we're actually replacing Teary with, um, with the, Temple, so yeah. Okay, so we're here with Leon at this Pokemon lab. So let's go in. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa, this looks like a nice lab. It looks like a library. Bowark. Whoa, the Yamper. Yamper is actually really cool and cute. It's chubby. It's like a sausage dog. Oh, so that's... Um, That's Sonia. Oh, a sausage dog. Good to see you, Yamper. Okay, Sonia's good. I, I'm guessing Sonia's the assistant principal, if I remember correctly. Rotom, 
on phones, they're basically like what helps you like have all the info, you get the Pokedex there, the... It's like basically when you press X, that's what comes up, like your Pokemon, the Pokedex. Yeah, so I think we're gonna end the um, episode off there first. We didn't get to do much yet this episode because um, it was just the introduction. Next episode, um, we'll be able to transfer the Timple into our team and then train it up a little. Let's see how the story continues. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next ones. Um, maybe some VDC in between. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be it. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, we're signing out.